Good morning. Welcome to John Carroll on this brisk but sunny day. So following on with what you've heard already this morning, this session is really all about an opportunity for you to learn about all the opportunities that are available to students in the Bowler School of Business at John Carroll. Rather than me standing up here and telling you all about it, which would be kind of boring, I brought some of my friends sitting up here in the front, students and alums that are going to share with you many of the aspects of their experience at John Carroll and what made it so special and so unique and why it is setting them on a path to be very successful when they finish their career at John Carroll. We also have a couple of alums that can tell you firsthand how it is that they've used their education at John Carroll and the Bowler School to progress in their careers since their graduation in 2012. So let's get started. I'm Karen Sheely. I'm the Dean of the Bowler School of Business here at John Carroll and a professor of accountancy. As I said, we're going to have a guided panel discussion. I will prompt the students to provide you with information about lots of different things that go on in the Bowler School. And we will end with a little bit of Q&A before we get, before we dismiss you. We have some paper documents for you as you're leaving that give you some detail on some of the other programs that go on in the Bowler School that we might not be able to give you all the detail you'd like. So as you leave, look for someone in the back that's passing out that information. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce some of my colleagues from the Bowler School that are here that will be around as we finish the presentation so that you, if you have specific questions about particular majors or particular programs in the Bowler School, they are available to help to answer any questions you might have. So can the Bowler folks stand up? They're up here in the front and let me introduce them. Starting over here on my left is Mariah Webinger. She's a professor in the Department of Accountancy. Next to Mariah is Mark Hauserman. He is the director of the Muldoon Center for Entrepreneurship. Michelle Holleran is the coordinator for our professional development program, which will, you will hear about from our panel. Allie Dockner is a professor of management and human resources. Rick Grency is a professor of marketing and management. Larry Sima is a professor of economics, but also teaches in the international business major. Laura Atkins is our assistant dean for undergraduate programs. And Andy Welke is a professor of economics and the chair of the economics department. And back over on my left is Lindsay Calkins. She's the associate dean, one of the associate deans in the Bowler School of Business, associate dean for students and faculty, and is also a professor of economics. So those are all of our Bowler folks that are here. So search them out as, you, as we finish up our presentation with any additional questions that we ha you have. And then we also have some of our Bowler ambassadors. Where are you, Bowler ambassadors? Here they are. Um, Bowler Ambassadors are students in the Bowler School that have volunteered to serve as ambassadors for all things Bowler. So if you've had a, a, a visit on campus previously, you might have had the opportunity for a tour or lunch with one of our, our ambassadors. Again, a great opportunity for you to chat with existing students after the presentation is over. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we talk specifically about Bowler, let me just talk just a few minutes about the new integrated core that we are introducing for the class of 2019. The new core is specifically developed to allow students to understand how it is that what we do in the liberal arts core should inform what you do in your major. And so the liberal arts core will start to build skills that will be reinforced in the major and in the core program in the Bowler School of Business. It provides the opportunity for students to intentionally make connections between what they are learning across all the different courses that they will take while they are at John Carroll. We are so excited to launch this program for all of you this fall, and the Bowler faculty are actually in conversation with faculty in the College of Arts and Science to develop some of those integrated courses so students in the Bowler School can make those connections between what they're learning in the Bowler School and what they're learning in the College of Arts and Science through the integrated core. With that, let's, let me just run through the majors that we have in the Bowler School of Business, accountancy, economics, finance, human resources management, international business with language and culture, a mouthful, logistics, management, and marketing. And we've got representatives from all those majors here to talk to you specifically about them if you have questions at the end. 
As I indicated, we're going to have a guided panel discussion. And these are the names, years, and majors for all of our students that are serving on the panel, as well as the two alums that are on our panel. One thing you should note, look how many of them are double majoring. The curriculum at John Carroll provides opportunities to do, for students to do that. So lots of double majoring for our students. So let's get started. First topic I'd like to talk about is study abroad. We encourage our students to study abroad because we think that it is such an important part of an experience, a university and college experience. We have developed numerous study abroad opportunities as listed on the screen. And all of these opportunities are exchange agreements, which allow students to maintain their financial aid at John Carroll and go and study abroad. I'd like to ask Austin Gray to tell us a little bit about his experience studying abroad in France. Austin? Hi, everyone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Austin. I'm a senior here. I'm international business with a minor in French. Uh, I actually studied in Rouen, France. It's about an hour outside of Paris. I attended the Neoma Business School, which is one of our exchange partners, where the financial aid and the credits were able to transfer back, so it was a very smooth transition. Uh, I was provided with the opportunity to take my courses in French and in English, so I was able to experience the language and the culture much more in depth than I would anywhere else, as well as meet students from all around the world, which was an incredible experience. Um, study abroad through John Carroll honestly was something I never thought I'd be able to do. Uh, I didn't know if I'd be able to afford it or if it would work well with my schedule. They really encourage any student to get that experience and allow me to, it allowed me to see the world. Um, I traveled to over five different countries, over 30 cities, um, all within my budget set aside and it was absolutely fantastic. And you won't understand the opportunities it can present until you take that experience for yourself. Um, I actually had a very interesting experience where Mrs. Atkins, I don't know where she went actually, oh there she is, uh, she was actually coming to visit the school I was studying abroad at along with college and uh, business school administrators from all around the world and I was actually a student representative working as a tour guide for my campus um, and through the process of that I got invited to a banquet to attend at the town hall of Rouen and uh, I was talking to Mrs. Atkins and this gentleman comes over and starts talking to us, uh, explaining us the history of the city, why Cleveland and Rouen are sister cities. And she just leans over to me and goes, that's the mayor. <laughs> and I literally just shook his hand and walked away like it was nothing. Um, <laughs> and then he gave us a private tour of town hall, and then we got to attend a great dinner with him. So the experiences that you can have through that process, you'll never understand until you get to do it. And through the assistance of John Carroll and the Bowler School, it's an absolutely unbelievable and very possible experience. So if you have any questions about that, I'll be here all day. I'll be at lunch. Uh, giving tours, feel free to pull me aside. I'd be happy to help any way I can. Other than that, good luck going forward, and hopefully you guys will get that same experience. Okay, I knew you'd clap, because wasn't that awesome? I'm going to ask that you hold your applause until the very end, otherwise we're going to be here till about 3 this afternoon. All right? The next thing we'd like to talk about is internship and research opportunities that our students have. Over 80% of our students complete at least one internship while at John Carroll, and many have two or three. Many of these internships result in full-time job offers for our students upon graduation. And a number of our students who have an interest in doing research with our faculty members take advantage of that, and two of our students applied to the undergraduate research conference at Fordham, and will be going there next month to present their research. So lots of opportunities. So let me turn it over to Tyler and Kylie to tell you a little bit about their internship experience while at John Carroll. Hello, welcome to John Carroll. Um, I was fortunate enough to have uh, three different internship experiences uh, over my time at John Carroll, between my freshman and sophomore year, sophomore and junior year, and junior and senior year. Um, between my freshman and sophomore year, I interned at Magna International, an automotive parts supplier, uh, the biggest one in, in North America. So it was a great opportunity to learn and kind of learn what corporate finance is about. But I knew I wanted to get more into banking. So uh, through a recommendation from Dr. Navratil, my faculty advisor, I moved into uh, J.P. Morgan Chase in the commercial bank here in Cleveland. Um, it was an incredible experience. And that's really where I learned where what being a John Carroll student and graduate means. Um, I went out with the, the bankers to meet with different CEOs and CFOs of middle market companies in the area. 
and every single one of them knew John Carroll and had great things to say about either they went there or they knew somebody that had done great things from John Carroll. So, you know, there's, there's definitely a reputation here, and it was very eye-opening to see that out in the real world. Um, I was able to leverage that internship into an internship last summer uh, on Wall Street at J.P. Morgan. And uh, it was a great experience. I learned a ton, and it, it was very challenging. But on my very first day, I walked into training, and I looked to my left, and I looked to my right. On the left, I saw a name tag with uh, University of Chicago. On, on the right, I saw somebody from uh, uh, Princeton University. So uh, the John Carroll education puts us in a situation to compete, to compete with some of the best schools in the United States, in the world. And I firmly believe that, and I think that the one-on-one -on -one experience that you get going to teachers' uh, office hours is one that a lot of other schools don't provide. And John Carroll definitely has that, where you can walk into a, a teacher's office during their office hours and learn a ton, whether it be about uh, you know, something you did some self-studying or in class. And, and that's a unique experience that every teacher offers for you all. So uh, for me, that was uh, very moving. Um, I was able to I uh, earn a full-time offer to return at J.P. Morgan, and so I'll be moving to New York City uh, starting in June, so looking forward to that opportunity. Um, hi. Okay, this works. Hi, I'm Kylie again. Um, I'm sure most of you heard me talk before. Um, I mentioned earlier that I'm going to be working for Aldi as a district manager, and I just want to talk about how I kind of um, got that through John Carroll. Uh, I had originally seen a job posting for the Aldi internship on the John Carroll Career um, Connections webpage, and that's such an awesome resource that we have at John Carroll, where people who are specifically looking for John Carroll students will post their jobs on there and internships and full-time jobs. And a lot of those companies come to the Career Center for the first round interviews, which makes it really easy for students to interview and kind of um, get their taste of the interview without having to travel a long distance away. And so um, I saw that on the Career Connections page, and then I went to the John Carroll Career Fair, which brings so many businesses and so many organizations to campus. And I got to talk with some of the Aldi representatives and gave them my resume. And um, I was fortunate enough to be asked for an interview, and I got to do that at the Career Center, and then moved on to the second at the division headquarters. And so it was just an awesome internship and something that I really thank John Carroll for having those connections for me um, and to make it such an easy process to apply for that internship. And um, I also was fortunate enough to be offered a full-time job at the end of that internship. And so I will start um, as a district manager for Aldi um, in, Jan in June. And so um, I'm really excited for that. And it was definitely a testament to the career center that we have here, but as well as the career fair and all the business um, connections that we have at John Carroll. Thank you both. Next, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Muldoon Center for Entrepreneurship that's located in the Bowler School of Business. In the Entrepreneurship Center, we run the Entrepreneurship Minor out of the center. And this is a minor that's available to all students at John Carroll, regardless of their major. And the wonderful thing about the Muldoon Center is that it also sponsors a business membership organization called the Entrepreneurs Association. The Entrepreneurship Association is made up of business owners in the greater Cleveland area that have been in business for at least five years, have reached a million dollars in sales, and want to interact with our students. They serve as mentors, they serve as judges in our competition, they speak in our classrooms, they do a lot for our students. Also in the Muldoon Center is a space that we call the Student Business Hatchery. It's an opportunity for students with business ideas to hatch their ideas. Students apply to the hatchery, are interviewed by a panel of judges, and then get to work on their business idea in the hatchery. So let me have Rachel tell you a little bit about her experience in the hatchery as a business minor. Hello, everybody. My name is Rachel Boyko. Um, I, the um, hatchery is very unique to John Carroll. Um, it's an amazing opportunity for students with entrepreneurial dreams to make them a reality. Um, like Dr. Sheely said, um, you start out with an idea, you uh, apply to the hatchery, you sit in a panel of entrepreneur, in front of a panel of um, entrepreneur association members um, and present your idea. They give you some feedback. If you are accepted, then you are taken um, to the hatchery and assigned a mentor from the Entrepreneurs Association. Um, for example, myself, 
Um, I needed a little help in beginning with um, an online presence and some marketing. So Mr. Hausman was able to connect me with um, an, a John Carroll graduate actually in the um, Entrepreneurs Association to help me with that. He reached out uh, to her and then I was able to contact her through email. We've met up multiple times. They are so willing to help. Um, they love working with John Carroll students. Uh, they know how passionate we are about these ideas and there is someone from every type of background, so no matter what it is you need help in, there's not just one mentor for you, there's plenty. Um, and also the hatchery is um, a space up in, the, or up in the Bowler School of Business, and it's open to all John Carroll students, um, entrepreneurship minors, um, to go there to work on your ideas, to do homework. Um, it's a very quiet space, it's a beautiful room. Uh, Mr. Hauserman's always there to talk to along with uh, the other entrepreneurship professors. They love when students come in and talk to them, um, which is also very unique to John Carroll. The connections you can make with your professors are amazing. Um, and whenever you need help, whether it's with your idea, with it's your minor, with anything, they're there, so. Two years ago, we, whoops, I need this, don't I? Two years ago, we launched the professional development program for our students recognizing that the job market is incredibly competitive for all students. And students need to put the best foot forward in terms of their polish, in terms of their resume, in terms of their networking skills. And so we introduced this program. It's a four-year program that students are required to complete over the four years that they're at John Carroll in order to graduate. And so I'd like to allow Bobby, who is a sophomore and one of the, uh, the first class of students that's going through the professional development program, to tell you a little bit about some of the activities that go on in the professional development program. Thank you, Dean Julie. Um, as she mentioned earlier, being the first class to go through this, you really have an opportunity to see the program grow. Um, Michelle Halloran, who heads the program, is a professional resume writer with experience tweaking resumes and cover letters and teaching C-level executives from CEOs to CFOs how to network, how to present themselves, how to polish themselves in interviews, and really hone those networking skills. For me personally, just this past Tuesday, um, I met up with an alumni down at Key Bank and spent five hours on their sales training desk learning what their morning meetings are like, learning what the job is like, and really fostering those connections to develop through LinkedIn, through alumni, through your parents, through friends you know, just really understanding how do you take who you know and turn it into internships like Tyler had, or job offers, and really just how do we compete with those universities Tyler mentioned. Because John Carroll, as we mentioned earlier, is not the 31st best accounting program in the nation. How do we take that and show that to the rest of the world and really put John Carroll on the map even more so in this Bowler Professional Development Program? I cannot speak highly enough about and just how polished it's making us from we take those classroom skills and now we can transition them into the workplace so much more seamlessly. And when you're sitting in these interviews, you can really read these interviewers and understand that they see the value in that John Carroll education and that Bowler Professional Development really allows you to showcase that. Now, you might be saying, oh my gosh, these students, they do so much. How do they balance everything? They've got their coursework, they've got their internships, they've got the professional development program, they might study abroad, they've got student groups they're involved in. How do they balance? Lindsay, tell them how you balance. I promise it's possible, first off. <laughs> Um, I will say, coming to John Carroll, um, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I would played a sport in high school, and I practiced over 20 hours a week, decided I didn't want to do that anymore in college, came here and was like, what do you do with your time? You know, it's coming to John Carroll, there's so much here to do, it's incredible. You go one of your first days at John Carroll, they have um, different fairs set up where you can go and meet different student organizations. You can get involved with service. I personally, one of my biggest involvements is in Greek life. Um, and I've had plenty of time to do that, do some service on the side. Um, I'm a double major, had an internship, did lots during the semesters. Um, as Tyler will talk about later, there are a lot of different clubs within your departments. You're, like I'm in economics and finance, so in your academic departments, there's a lot of things you can get involved with that can help you professionally develop outside of John Carroll. So the question is, how exactly do you balance that? How do you do so many things at one time? Um, at first, I thought there's no way that it's actually possible, but 
I promise you, as I said before, it is. One of the biggest things that has helped me is um, I have my assignment book and written for every single day. I have like in my blue colored pen, I have for this activity, in my red colored pen, I have this, which sounds so silly and so just like common sense, but a lot of people don't take the time to even organize what exactly you have going on. And for me, that has been a huge help. Just trying to figure out every day I have this to do here, this to do here, and in between this, I have to get my homework done between this time and this time. Between then, you might go to office hours for a professor, you might be doing other things. There's still plenty of time for fun here. You're going to learn a ton, but I promise you, it is going to be one of the greatest experiences because you're going to have that social atmosphere and so many great friends help you out along the way. A number of our students participate in student competitions, which provides them the opportunity to take what they're learning in the classroom and apply it. We provide funding for students to attend the competitions, both in terms of travel and registration. So let me have Tyler and Matt talk a little bit about their experience in competitions and tell you especially how their teams did. So um, hopefully you guys don't get too tired of hearing me uh, talk today, but <laughs> um, Lindsay was actually on the CFA competition team uh, and we competed, what, about a month ago? And uh, it was a great experience. Just to kind of give you a background of what it was, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the show uh, Mad Money, where Kramer gives a stock pitch on a company. We did the same thing, but it was a little bit uh, less high energy and more analytical. We wrote a 10-page written report and gave a 10 minute presentation. So uh, it was very interesting and I think one of the best uh, parts of this experience was working with an executive in re residence, which is Professor Veni, who managed billions of dollars throughout his career, and uh, also Dr. Jean, who had more of the academic perspective, where he's done research on high frequency trading, al algorithmic trading, and international finance. So uh, kind of combining those two together, it was a great learning environment. And also just being in the room with, you know, some of the smartest people in the Bowler School, like Lindsay, um, you know, it's, it's an incredible opportunity to bounce ideas off of each other and uh, really take a deep dive into a company and, and, and learn what it would be like to be an equity sales, uh, or sorry, a, a equity research analyst. So um, I think overall it was, it was a great experience. We ended up coming in first place against all the teams, uh, all the different universities in the, in the Cleveland area. We're moving on to the national championship in April where we'll be competing against some of the top schools in the country. And then if we're able to advance, uh, it would be the international tournament against schools like Oxford. So uh, we're crossing our fingers. Hopefully we can keep advancing. And uh, it just, once again, it's another example of John Carroll competing with some of the top schools in the country. And it's also an example of John Carroll giving us opportunities to gain real world experience. Hello everybody, I'm Matthew Curry. I graduated last May uh, and I'm currently a fifth year MBA student. I was part of the John Carroll Deloitte Fantastic team, it's very playfully worded. Um, I remember I was a sophomore and one of my accounting professors approached me and said, Matt, how would you like to be part of a tax team? And at the time I didn't really think it was gonna be that exciting, but it ended up being one of the best things I ever did at John Carroll. Uh, what it was, was it was a simulation of a real tax engagement sponsored by Deloitte, which is one of the biggest accounting firms on the globe. Um, we started off regionally. It was a team of myself, another sophomore, and three senior accountancy students. So we competed regionally um, against, I believe, Ohio State, Xavier, Miami, a lot of these big name schools, and we ended up beating them. I really like that a lot. But, um, but because of this, we got to go down to Dallas um, during the middle of winter, which was pleasant, and um, competed um, against nationally uh, ranked programs such as University of Southern California, University of Missouri. I mean, they were from everywhere. Um, what it was was we were giving, or we were given a real simulation where we'd sit down. When we were in Dallas, we sat down all day. We prepared a tax case all day, and we gave our results to a panel of Deloitte partners who acted as our mock client. Uh, we ended up taking third nationally, but what was so great for me was that I made so many connections through Deloitte at the, at, uh, during this event that I ended up meeting my regional recruiter, was able to obtain an internship with Deloitte, and now we'll be starting with Deloitte in the fall next year. 
So it ended up working great for me. And I think it speaks to John Carroll that we can put together such talented individuals that can go compete on a national stage and really do well. I mean, we got to go to Dallas, which was great. But um, yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't even uh, explain how grateful I am to John Carroll for letting me go down to Dallas and uh, show what I can do. So one of the things that sets John Carroll apart and the Bowler School apart from other schools is the support that we provide our students. We want to ensure that our students are successful when they finish their degree at John Carroll and move into the first stage of their careers. Two of the things that we provide for our students among the many things that I'd like to highlight today is we provide peer tutoring for our students where our upperclassmen tutor our lowerclassmen in some of the classes in the Bowler School and also the faculty advisors, students that come to John Carroll uh, wishing to pursue a business degree are assigned a advisor in the Bowler School from the very beginning, from the freshman year. And those advisors are instrumental in helping the students shape their academic careers to be successful when they graduate. So let me let, ask Andre and Tyler to tell you a little bit about the tutoring and then the advisors. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Andre Louie. I'm a double major in marketing and logistics. Um, back in the day, as an incoming freshman, um, I knew I wanted to be a business major, but uh, I wasn't sure about the business classes because I, I didn't take any in high school. So my first class was economics, and I had trouble with economics. I didn't, I didn't know much, so I went to the professor, and he told me about peer tutoring. So um, I guess there's about I'll probably say three to four um, upperclassmen for each uh, major. And um, the economics uh, tutor really helped me out. Uh, they have flexible hours, so even if you're an athlete or you have other curriculars that you're involved in, uh, they'll be able to meet you. And one time, uh, the next year in accounting, uh, I really had trouble with accounting. And uh, one kid named Jason was willing to meet with me outside of uh, his regular work schedule hours, which I thought was great. And he met with me in the library and he really helped me out. Uh, I had an accounting project that I had to do. And he met with me about, what, two hours a day, like in a library. And I learned so much about accounting and I actually love it now, even though that's not my major, but now I understand it. So now going into the work world, I have a better understanding of that. So I would say really utilize the peer tutoring here at John Carroll. It's really helpful and it could really benefit you. Yeah, so um, I'm also a finance tutor right now and I can attest to that as well from both ends. Um, first off, you know, I was, I was kind of tutored kind of going up and I wanted to give it back uh, in some way. And so I'm now the finance tutor for the department. Um, but I, on top of that, I, I'm, I'm supposed to talk more about the faculty advisors and what they've done for me. And, uh, you know, I had Dr. Welke as one of my faculty advisors and Dr. Navratil as my other faculty advisor. And I think the, the close relationships we've developed uh, is unlike a lot of other schools. Um, a lot of times we'll be hanging out in Bowler Lab and Dr. Welke will walk up and, and just start talking to me about, you know, some sporting event, you know, what's going on with John Carroll football, just anything. And I think that personal relationship means a lot. Um, it, it means a lot to me, definitely. Um, I think also uh, they, they definitely help you out finding jobs. And bottom line, you know, one of the reasons, one of the main reasons you go to college is to find a job. And they are great at that. Um, you know, Dr. Navratil put me in touch with the people that ended up leading to my job at J.P. Morgan Chase here in Cleveland. Uh, so, you know, I, I owe him the world for that. And then on top of that, uh, he also has put me in touch with people in New York City that I've been able to network my way to now work there. And, uh, you know, one of my mentors at, in New York City that I grab lunch with every time that I'm in the city, uh, you know, we always grab lunch. So um, on top of that, he's also put me in touch with, I, I've expressed interest in potentially going to an MBA program on the East Coast. And so he set me up with, uh, you know, one of the top John Carroll graduates that ended up going to Harvard and is now one of the top uh, executives at Key Bank. So I'm grabbing lunch with him on Monday. So just another example of faculty advisors really looking out for students and setting us up for the, the future success in the workplace. The classroom experience in the Bowler School is like no other. Our faculty members push our students to take the theory that they are learning 
and apply it through experiential learning. So let me ask two of our students, Lindsay and Kylie, to talk a little bit about their experience ex doing experiential learning. So in your John Carroll classes, you not only learn just like supply equals demand or profit equals revenue minus cost. That's not just what you learn. You learn so many things that you're going to take with you into a future career. So as a finance major, we have many different classes where you learn real world, ex world experience and then you can take that with you as you go. One of the classes we have is called investments where you start off by managing a kind of a fake fund. It's like a simulation of how you would manage a portfolio. So what kind of stocks would you want? Would you want to do bonds? Would you want to do money market instruments? What exactly would you want to hold? Why would you want to do it? Why would you want to hold those? And then what would you want to do with them? So you not only take your everyday learning about this is a stock, this is a bond, but you take those and you do something with it. So that was the first class that we have. And then moving forward, there's also a class called portfolio management. Um, Tyler was also in that class with me. It is incredible. We actually manage real money. So we have, it's called the Dornham Fund. We have very generous donors with John Carroll and it's helped a lot through a lot of the academic programs with funding. So our fund, we managed over a $200,000 portfolio. And in this class, we did stock pitches to our class. So we would research what stocks are already being held in the portfolio, and we would give a presentation on how they're held, why they're held, how much, and what do we want to do with it. And then at the end of the semester, we made another pitch about where do we want to go forward with these. So we actually managed the real money, and we made um, a whole letter basically outlining these are the trades that we did, this is how we want our portfolio to be managed, and this is why and we sent it to the donor who invested all of the money and he's actually giving us more money because he really likes how this program is growing. So that's really great for us as well because it's just the amount of experience you learn that you can take into the real world. Like Tyler and I took those skills and we did it into the Chartered Financial Analyst competition. I don't know if I would have known a lot of the things going into that competition without taking those classes. So your classes really will help you with the real world experience you're looking for. Um, yeah, I've also had a really unique opportunity through Dr. Dockner's training and development class um, to have an experiential learning um, in the classroom. And so I mentioned earlier that I'm the president of Students Empowering Women on campus. And one of the big things that I think is really important for women is to learn how to negotiate in the workplace because um, that can really set you up for success in the future. And so I had reached out to Dr. Dockner last year about giving us a presentation about negotiation and everybody in the club really liked the presentation and so I asked her to come back again and she actually um, opened up the opportunity that we would have our training um, and development class conduct this training for us instead of Dr. Dockner doing it. So the whole training and development class is surrounded around conducting this training for my student empowering women group and so it's been really awesome because we are putting together an entire training program. And so it's something that I'm going to be able to put on my resume as I'm not just learning why training and development is so important for companies, but I'm really doing it and I'm developing a whole program surrounded around it. So the needs assessment and, you know, everything that goes along with the whole training program we've been able to do in the classroom. And so um, it's been really great because we get a lot of feedback and we haven't done the actual training seminar yet, but I know it's going to be a big success. And I'm just really thankful to have that opportunity because when I go out into the workforce and I'm um, in the HR world, and, you know, if I'm working as a training specialist, then I'll know that I've had this experience at John Carroll as a foundation to grow off of. In the Bowler School, we also offer our students the opportunity to continue on for one more year from their undergraduate to complete an MBA or a master's in accountancy in what we refer to as a fifth-year program. Matt is currently, as he indicated, in the fifth-year program, so I'd like for him to tell you a little bit about that. Okay, well, when I graduated uh, last May, I found myself in a bit of a predicament where I had my uh, degree in accountancy, but I did not have 150 credit hours. Uh, some accounting students find this uh, to happen, but what, what that means is that you can't sit for your CPA exam. State accountancy boards usually require um, that students have 150 credit hours to sit. So I knew that I needed to pick up some more credit hours, and I knew that the fifth year program was available. And with a 25% tuition reduction, I felt that that was a great option for me. Um, I really enjoy the program. The, the quality of professors is still as great as it is in the undergraduate um, 
I find myself taking a step back from such an accounting focus, and I think looking at business as overall has really helped me, and I think that it's really given me a leg up on my peers. All right, so part of what you've heard today is lots of different pieces of the experience at the Bowler School of Business. I'd like Andre to take just a few minutes to tell you about his journey through his experience at John Carroll and how it has shaped where he's going to be come the end of June. Hello, everyone, again. Um, the beginning of my sophomore year, uh, my roommate only talked about the Bowler Study Abroad program in London. Um, I never really understood why he wanted to go so bad. Uh, he literally bugged me every time I went back to my room about signing up uh, for, the, for the program. And um, I, don't, I don't regret it for one second that I ended up going with him. It ended up being the greatest time of my life. Um, I made so many friends uh, that from John Carroll and uh, from the other study abroad programs uh, that will last a lifetime. Um, while in London, I traveled to over 11 countries, and I have to say my pockets were pretty empty after that. <laughs> but um, it was all worth it in the end. Um, but by studying abroad, I learned that being outside of my comfort zone allows you to see uh, what you're truly capable of, li capable of in life. Um, I learned to embrace every challenge that comes my way. Uh, after this insightful experience, junior year, I was on a mission to learn everything I possibly could in and outside the classroom. I, wanted, I really wanted an internship uh, that following summer, so I ran into Michelle Halloran of the Professional Development Program, and together uh, we were determined to find me an internship. And that whole year, um, I focused on getting my grades up, and finding an internship, and I ended up finding a really good one at um, Cleveland Clinic as a marketing intern. So um, I was very happy with that. My following year, uh, senior year, I knew I wanted to uh, travel or at least relocate. Uh, studying abroad really got me comfortable outside of my comfort zone. So I looked uh, for places all around the country. I ended up finding a great opportunity in Nashville and um, it's a rotational program, and I'm looking, I'm very, I'm looking forward to uh, starting work there towards the end of June. And all I have to say is um, I'm so grateful that I came to John Carroll because it has really helped me out. It, it helped me grow as a student, and now I'm pretty confident going into the business world, and I know I can do great things. Thank you. All right, let's cap it off. You've heard from all of our current students about all the wonderful things that they've been involved in and how what they've been involved in at John Carroll and the Bowler School has really helped to shape them. And some of our students, there are students that are graduating and starting out their careers. But let me turn it over to two of our alums, graduated in 2012 and have both have had extremely sexful, sex, successful, bleh, I've been talking too much, careers and have been promoted multiple times in their organizations. So let me, t let th me turn it over to them for them to tell you their stories. Hi everyone, my name is Marissa, and as Dean Shealy said, I graduated in spring of 2012 with a marketing major and a Spanish minor. Dana will talk about this in a few minutes, but I found my job through John Carroll at Rosetta, which is an international digital advertising agency with one of their largest offices in downtown Cleveland. So it's a really fast-paced, exciting, young environment. And I was really excited to get started. I actually started off in an account management and financial operations role. So which might sound kind of funny since I was a marketing major. But as Dean Sheely has also mentioned, the Bowler core is essential for your success. You're not just going to take classes in your major are going to expand your skill set and be exposed to a variety of different business classes so you will be a well-rounded individual upon graduation. So in this financial role, I was doing everything from revenue recognition to invoicing major clients. But thankfully, I had had my accounting class, my finance class, my economics classes, so I felt very prepared. However, after a couple months in this role, I was ready to switch over to something that was a little more aligned with my marketing interests. And this was web content development. So I wanted to be in charge of creating the content you see on some big name brands websites. So thank goodness for my business writing class for that. 
but I did express my interest, and with about a month of transitioning, I was in this new position, and I absolutely loved it. It was extremely creative, and I felt like I was really in my element. With this position came new opportunities as well, though. Um, a more technical role was presented to me, so I was starting to split my time between a writing role and a more behind-the-scenes web tech role. So at this point, I now had three very different jobs in two years. So like the business core that's going to have you take a variety of classes and be exposed to a variety of different skills, I had now had three jobs. So even in my company, that really diversified me and made me an asset. But now I know that moving on to a new opportunity, I'm going to be able to widen my reach of where I can even apply to since I've had so much experience in such a short amount of time. And as a result of this, my company really appreciated that I was flexible and willing to try new things, and I was promoted last fall to a senior strategist role. So it was a really exciting opportunity. But I still wanted more. The Bowler School really emphasizes leadership. And I knew I wanted to take my career to the next level. So I sat down with my manager and he asked me to say what my ideal role would be in my first three years out of college. And I said, why not? I want to manage a million dollar account and have a team beneath me. May as well go for it, right? <laughs> So he said, this might take some time considering we're an ad agency, so we rely on our clients for revenue, and our team at the moment would need more money to get to that point. Well, this past week, we actually took all the data, made some projections, and pitched to our client to triple their budget, and they went for it. So as of this week, I'm going to be the content lead on a major e-commerce re e retailer leading a team, which is absolutely amazing, and I'm so excited. But I definitely have John Carroll in the Bowler School especially to thank for that. Everything from my business statistics class with Dr. Welke, <laughs> to my econ class with Dr. Calkins, who's in here as well, to my business writing class, and just the resources they provide. The Career Center is a very valuable asset. The mentorship you're going to receive. These faculty members want you all to succeed. And they will do whatever it takes to get you there. So thank you so much. It's great to be back. <laughs> Thanks, Marissa. Um, my name is Dana. I'm also a 2012 graduate of the Bowler School, and I currently work at Progressive Insurance. And what I want to touch on this morning is how the Bowler School kind of shaped my journey to get to Progressive. When I was a senior, I was convinced that I wanted to take the finance route and work in banking. So I attended the Meet the Recruiters Night, which happens each fall, where a bunch of companies come in looking to hire John Carroll grads. I talked to a number of banks and was feeling really good about where I was at. And I almost hit the exit when Dr. Welke stopped me. And he said, you know, who'd you talk to tonight? And I listed them off. And he looked at me and he said, you didn't talk to Progressive? And in my head I thought, auto insurance? Really, Dr. Welke? Um, but before I knew it, he was marching me right over to the recruiter. And, you know, I talked to them. and. It was interesting. I don't think I realized what it takes to run a $17 billion company, but um, kind of just played it off and didn't really think much of it. A couple days later in class, he looked at me and said, did you apply? And I probably made a face. <laughs> um, but he said, Dana, cast a wide net. You have nothing to lose. So I applied and got the interview and actually realized that Glenn Renwick, the CEO of Progressive, was going to be speaking on campus days before my interview. The Mellon series happens twice a year here at John Carroll, where the Bowler School brings in a CEO of a publicly held Ohio-based company to speak. So I went into those interviews with a leg up on every other candidate, because I had just sat in the room with the CEO, hearing his story, his thoughts on progressive, and his thoughts on the industry. I did pretty well in the interview, I guess, and got the offer but was left with offers from banks as well. And Marissa can attest to the chaos that those two weeks brought me. Um, I was really torn. Um, to be honest with you, I thought Progressive was a little too good to be true. Um, we get to wear jeans to work, and you can show up at 9.30 if you want. Um, so I was actually at Einstein's Bagels, a really great place here on campus, um, probably stress eating some chocolate chip bagels. And I ran into Dr. Sima, and he looked at me and said, you know, how's the job search going? And I probably spilled the 30-minute version of this story to him. And he looked at me and said, 
Dana, my wife works at Progressive. I think she'd be willing to talk to you. And so later that day in class, he gave me his home phone number and times that Mrs. Simo would be willing to speak with me. And you better believe I called their house after dinner that night and um, had a very honest and candid conversation with her for about a half hour. And she really eased all my concerns and I then accepted the progressive offer. So I'll have been there for about three years this summer. I've had two different roles, two promotions. Um, I've been put on a crazy project where senior leaders know my name and know the work I'm doing, and it all feels really surreal. But the point of my story is this. You heard from the other panelists today that John Carroll and the Bowler School will give you the tools to success. You better believe that. Meet the recruiters, the Mellon series, professional development, it's all here. But what makes the Bowler School special are these people in the front row. The faculty really do care about you and they will absolutely shape your career. Thank you. So, moms and dads, these two, what do you think? <laughs> this is what happens when your sons and daughters come to John Carroll and the Bowler School. You end up with two extremely successful young ladies. So let me ask all of our students to stand up and allow you to thank them with your applause. Again, thank you all for coming to John Carroll. We've got a number of faculty and administrators from the Bowler School as well as our student ambassadors who can answer any more specific questions that you might have about all things Bowler. And as you exit the room, make sure that you grab a couple of handouts that will provide you with additional information about our professional development program, our curriculum, and our student competitions. On the screen is your next steps for the rest of the day. Thanks you, thank you again for coming and enjoy the rest of your day at John Carroll.